Cancer. This is your your general what's up with the year reading for 2022. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis, whatever I do. Also visit enchantedsky.com. You can book a reading there. Also visit Metaphysical, Metaphysical Meanderings. That is my podcast that's on 1130 a.m. Sundays now, uh, 216thenet.com or on here on YouTube. You can ask questions for free. Okay. Joke of the day isn't a joke. My new, my new Year's resolution is to not go on a diet. That is my New Year's resolution. No joke. Because anybody that knows me knows that I can't lose weight no matter what I do. And I eat so little. It's just like I eat. And don't tell me I eat too little. That's not it. I have Hashimoto's and it's really affecting my weight. And I, other than that, I'm healthy. So I guess that's important, right? Get on with this. Let's go. So you're getting a wish um, and wondering if it's going to going to come true this year. And it's a change. It's, there's a change for you. Um, you're afraid of being out, left out, you know, but eventually it's going to work out for you because there's money coming. There's quite a bit of money coming. And here's a king of swords, which is a man of power. Now you got a queen and a king halfway apart from each other, which tells me there's some type of twin flame relationship going on for you cancer this year. And there is a meeting, a get together, a, um, uh, a marriage. Um, maybe it's even getting along better with your spouse or your twin flame. Cause man, twin flames are tough to get along with. It's not easy. Now, Things are, think there's a change happening this year. Now, I always say that five, five is a year of change, but the six is the, probably the, the end of the year of, of 2021 or so created a change for you. And now you are the king of cups. You know, you are the good, honest, fair person that's helpful to others. That's just the wise man. Right. And I feel like you're using your knowledge for some things this year. Now they're telling you, here's your wheel of fortune. So good things are coming your way, but they're telling you not to overdo it because temperance is what that meat card means. That's a Sagittarius card. Don't overdo things. Okay. And so this year, try to keep everything in balance. I think more than ever. And because there is something that you have been wanting this year and the change has been created, let it happen. But it has to do, I don't care what anybody says, it's a little confusing and something's a little hidden. It won't be completely revealed, but it has to do with money and a lot of it. That's inheritances. That's, you know, um, and like I said, it's hidden, but will be revealed. It could be a little confusing for you too, as you piece through it. Now, you got a King of Wands coming in, too. King of Wands is a fire sign, so it's an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. And they, it's coming in to help you with all this money. There's some type of... See, you're on... This is home family um, victories in the home and family area. You know, so you're on your way to victory, and it's a wish that you're wanting this year. So whatever you're putting yourself forth to, now you're expecting it to happen quickly, and you're expecting to have to go after it very quickly, and you're expecting to achieve it because you will, okay? And I think, still think it might be a job, but it's something to do with money, maybe investments. Um, three of Pentacles. See, yeah, this is money. It's about money again. Um, you know, this is this is a good reading as far as fortune. Now, remember that this being a six year, it is about home, family, and making yourself happy. You might be choosing a different route. Um, you might be having a couple of people coming into the picture throughout the year that's going to help you achieve your goal. And like I said, you're wondering if you're walking your your. If so, anybody's going to deceive you, if you're going to walk a tight, thin line to get what you want, because you're wishing for your, you're making your wishes, wondering if they're going to come true. I feel like they will. 
okay? But they're telling you moderation, moderation, moderation this year. Don't go be very conservative as far as if you're investing. Be careful on how and talk to people. Don't just trust anybody blindly. Uh, open up your eyes and watch. And I think that that is kind of what the message is through this whole thing. Be watchful and careful in what you do this year as you proceed with your goal and your wish that's being granted to you. Okay? Now, like I said, there is a king and a queen of swords here, which are very close together. So it's a twin flame energy. But this man could represent a, an attorney, the government. It can represent all kinds of, the, a lawyer, a doctor. It can represent all kinds of things. But somebody in authority that's going to help you get to this Ten of Pentacles, which is inheritances and a lot of money. Okay. You know, I'm sitting here thinking, and I, I know that us can't, you know, you cancers. I've got a lot of cancers in my life. You guys, I've told you that before. And um, yeah, see, there, the Knight of Pentacles, somebody's bringing you some something. They're bringing you money. They're bringing you opportunity. I, I'm studying these, and I'm not, don't think that it's a job necessarily. I think it's investments and you're reaping the benefits from it. It might be a new job, but it might be wisely spending and saving money also. But it has to do with money and it's a wish that's being granted. So to sum it all up, you have a really good thing. It's a wish that's being granted this year and it has to do with money, a lot of it quite a bit increase. Now, what is an increase to some people wouldn't be an increase to others. Um, everybody views money differently, but in, in your case, in any of your cases, there's an increase. Now, let these people help you. There is a king of wands that's coming in. There is a king of swords coming in. This is, this is legal, legality issues, okay, possibly in some way, shape, or form. And they're telling you this year to just be cautious and careful with your money as it grows. Really check the fine print, okay? So we're gonna pull Moonology now, okay? And then I'm gonna also pull runes. I like, I've got to a point where I pull quite a bit few runes. So I'm learning them. I'm starting to get the hang of them and memorizing them. So, okay. Adjustments are required. I already told you that. Adjustments are required. You're going to have to do adjustments. Confidence is your key to success. Stay confident. Eye on the prize, right? You and your loved ones are safe. Don't worry. Don't worry that, that you know, you're taking a risk. And they're telling you to, you're going to have to do something, some type of a little bit of risk, but it's calculated. So take your time. Look through it. Luck is on your side. Can't get much better than that, can you? Um, the energy is gaining momentum. The energy is gaining momentum. And balance spirituality and practicality. Stay practical. That's what I'm saying. Balance is probably the main key to this year, okay? Stay balanced, focused. Um, check your, you know, check your, dot your I's and cross your T's, okay? And I just pulled three runes. And, okay, okay. So I studied these runes a minute and they're just so interesting because I got something, um, two, two of them represent, see the, the sign symbols on them. They represent mortality, but a new start, a transformation coming into your own. It's a new, brand new way of doing everything, looking at everything for the year, okay? And then I got a destiny. It's destiny. So this was supposed to happen. So with that said, I want you to give some thought to that because whatever you're planning will work out because it's supposed to. What are you gonna do with this year? Take the bull by the horns, Cancer. Blessings to everybody.